Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Uh, we're back live. We had to come back live. Our system is back up and running again. And uh, we're a little stunned at how what all took place. But we wanted to bring you some powerful information. There has been a shooting on the Temple Mount just early this morning. Of course, Friday prayers are there. And then later in the day, it starts the Sabbath. But what happened was a uh, gunman entered the Temple Mount on the Lion's Gate and opened fire, killing two Israeli police soldiers, Israeli police. Of course, Israelis responded quickly and shot and killed all three gunmen right there in the Temple Mount, right out there on the, uh, what would be, you know, the open f area. It's just an unbelievable scene. Well, our Jerusalem Jane, uh, some of you have seen her. I've interviewed her before. She's on site now because after the shooting, you have two dead Israeli police, three dead gunmen of the Palestinians, and the entire place put on lockdown. Matter of fact, the entire Temple Mount locked down and Friday prayers canceled. Well, you have thousands of Muslims who come every morning on Friday mornings to pray. And they found out the place was shut down. Tensions started rising. And we're going to show you some live footage we got just a, not long ago from Jerusalem Jane. They're in Jerusalem. And she's, it's about four minutes. She's on the streets. Let's go there now. Shalom. Hi, this is Jerusalem Jane reporting down from Damascus Gate. As you can see behind me, everything is blocked off. We had a lot of police. If you move further out, you will reach the Lion Gate. 7.20 this morning, three terrorists stormed out from the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the Temple Mount, and they ran down to the Lion Gate, where they attacked the police who were standing on guard there. They executed two young police officers, and they wounded a third. They ran, then ran back to the Temple Mount, uh, into the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and the police went after them and there was a shootout going on on the ground on the Temple Mount and these three terrorists were neutralized. After this incident, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, spoke to Abigail Lieberman, who is the Defense Minister, and um, he spoke to the Security Minister, uh, Gilad Adan, and they decided to close off the Temple Mount for Friday prayer for the Muslims for the first time since the year 2000. So once again, Jerusalem saw another heinous, despicable terrorist attack with Muslim terrorists coming in. These three young men terrorists came in from the area around Haifa, and just before they committed this heinous attack, two of them took selfies, posted on Facebook, saying tomorrow our, our smile will be even sweeter because they know killing the Jews, becoming here um, a terrorist is good business. You become a martyr, your family uh, will be taken care of, you will be glorified. It is despicable. It is outrageous. Hamas, of course, is out praising this terrorist attack. Fatah, which is the party of Abu Mazen, Mahmoud Abbas, which you have to remember is supposed to be Israel's peace partner, is of course out condemning that the Temple Mount has been closed for the Arabs, and they are calling of all Arabs to just go and try to storm and go up and pray on the Temple Mount. I just made a live stream uh, from the Temple, uh, from Damascus Gate, speaking about all of these things. Be sure to watch that. So why are these things happening? Because this is definitely crossing a line in uh, these attacks that happened because these guys came from the Temple Mount with guns. They came from guns, they came out from the Al-Aqsa Mosque. If you think that the Al-Aqsa Mosque in the Temple Mount is a holy site for the Muslims, you are sadly mistaken. It is not. It is a war zone. It's where they are, they are preaching hate and death and destruction to the Jewish people and to the Jewish states. We have a false narrative from the Arabs that the Jewish people are occupying Palestine and for that reason you are entitled to go find them, kill them, and then you are being, then you are being paid. So this is the reason why we keep seeing these horrible terrorist attacks. And every time we see a terrorist attack, it's because they need, and I got the wind in my hair, look. It's nice with the breeze because it's a hot day. But listen, 
the myth of a Palestinian state that the Jewish people are occupying in the Palestinian state. It's why we see all of these terrorist attacks because they need to liberate Palestine. It is a lie born from the pit of hell, but it is a, it is a game changer that Benjamin Netanyahu is closing off the Temple Mount. It is a game changer that they brought guns on the Temple Mount. And I, the Gilad Adan, the security minister, is out saying it's 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 a it's crossing a lot of red lines and we need to find out how they got these weapons on the Temple Mount. So the only right thing to do is to take back the Temple Mount. The Jewish people liberated the Temple Mount in the Six Day War after it has been under Jordanian occupation. Unfortunately, they gave the keys back to the Jordanians and that is why we have all of these crazy things going on now. So yet another despicable, horrible he uh, terrorist attack here in Israel and now once again two Jewish families have to have a funeral, have to say goodbye to their son killed for only being Jewish because we have indictments from the so-called Palestinians saying uh, you just go find the Jews and you kill them. So just an update down here from Damascus Gate on, on yet a horrific terrorist attack that took the life of two young police officers just doing their job and the Muslim terrorists they came from the Temple Mount it's a game changer for sure. Well, this is an amazing situation here. As you heard Jerusalem Jane explaining the tension that's certainly mounting in Jerusalem. And over this weekend, be very careful. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem because tensions are going to run extremely high. How did these men get these guns? Homemade guns. How did they get the ability to make them? Where was it done? Was it in East Jerusalem? Was it in the West Bank? And uh, I can tell you, the response is shut down everything. Uh, there's going to be some anger, and that means the nation of Jordan will get involved because it's the Hashemite kingdom. It's the Jordanians that are in control of the Temple Mount. But the Israelis just took control, shut it all down as they begin their investigation. This never, ever, ever happens. So rare, it's unbelievable. So because of this, you can understand what's going to do. It's going to be a boiling point. Now, also, I would think that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will send the IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, into East Jerusalem and kick down doors looking for anyone and everyone that should not be there don't, if they're there in East Jerusalem and they don't, and they're not true Israeli citizens, they may be Palestinian and be an Israeli citizen. That's fine. But if they're a Palestinian and they're not an Israeli citizen, they'll be sent back. They'll be arrested and shipped back to either the Gaza Strip or to the West Bank. Let's pray there's no more violence. Let's pray there is no more violence. But I can tell you, uh, times are dangerous. And of course, the peace uh, process had begun by President Donald Trump, his son-in-law, Jared Kirshner, involved in the initial beginnings. But, uh, you know, again, anytime you go through a peace process, the jihadis will rise up from Hamas and try to derail the peace because they don't want peace, really. As long as there's chaos, they get funded by many nations of the world and they stay in power. And that's what this is really all about. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Folks, this is a prophecy alert. We're living in the last days. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh. God bless.